right, welcome back. Tension as Air Force helicopter mount surveillance in Imo. All right, the news in details. Oweri palpable tension as gripped resident of the Oweri capital city and its environs following the sudden appearance of a helicopter gunship that incessantly hovers around the city. The helicopter which made its appearance in the afternoon of Monday with defending noise expectedly instilled fears in the already tension-soaked resident when it menacingly demonstrated a landing move which constrained some of market women streets and the roadside traders to a scamper for their safety. All right, the development came on the heels of the weekend attack on the ancestral home of Governor Ope Uzodema at Omoma in the Oro East Council area by yet to be identified gunmen. Well, a middle aged woman who hawks consumables on wheelbarrow anonymously pleaded with security agencies in the state to rise up and then arrest the disturbing situation. Meanwhile, an official of the Nigerian Air Force in the state who pleaded not to be mentioned when contacted admitted the presence of the helicopter but insisted that it was a normal patrol. All right, and then that has been it on this one. Okay, well, there's been tension as Air Force helicopter mount surveillance in Imo State. Well, the thing is, uh, I don't know what is going on in the country now. Imo State has not no, turned to a state of panic, a state whereby somebody cannot even sit and relax, a state whereby you cannot even think of, you no. Know, relaxing of about good things and then as it is this has caused a lot of problems in the southeast most especially emo state well and then somebody saying that well for how long will the helicopter mount surveillance in the state after all when they are well finished today surveillance don't end no be ninja again all right and then it should not crash on innocent people i beg tell the idiot army to go and get back all those towns Boko Haram has taken from government hoisting their terrorist flag. Useless government. All right, and then they will kill Opu Zodima just the way they mistakenly killed the zoo army some days ago in the north, in the northeast. So their overing and their surveillance in Imo is for good. I must surely end in praise all right and uh, it is said that well supreme court governor power belongs to the people we shall rise and defend our land the sacred land of Bihafra. all right they will start bombing innocent civilians as usual it is their trademark and all mark who's already must stop killing your own people Allah la emo states ga akubugi all right i wish Debt to Op Uzodima for Ndi Imo to be free. Wow, this is another one. Well, a lot of things are going on. In fact, a lot of things had gone wrong in Imo State right now as we speak. And then, what is actually the problem? That has been the issue. What have we done to deserve all this? That has been the questions. Because a lot of people have been like, what is actually happening in this area? Why is it that they have decided to be killing innocent people just because of what? The Eastern Security Network have been there. They are trying to make things happen. These people have been tagged terrorist group all because they are trying to protect their people. That's what we have seen so far. This set of people, uh, the, the publicity secretary to the IPOP has no, lamented, talking about in my path right now, he has said that even the channel's television presenter himself knows that IPOB is not a terrorist group. And then as it is, these people are just looking for a way 
to destroy people simply because they discover that the only person, the only group that is set to defend its people from Fulani attack is the IPOP and then they have now they are now looking at it that okay fine so since you said yeah, say you people can come out to say you want to disturb our oppression then you people are terrorist group that they just name them terrorist group because they know that they are fighting for the good of the people they are not terrorist group and a lot of people know about this why would you call them a terrorist group that has been the issue well a lot of people have said it that well all these can never save them because god is really against them all right and then that has been it that god is really against the government they can never do all this to say they want to escape well one day shall be one day hmm, because now a lot of people are wishing death upon the governor of Imo state of uzodima right now hmm, that is another serious one of my people where well, a lot of things are actually been happening well what more can we say well many people have been of the opinion that if the Imo state governor of uzodima believes he can maltreat the indigents of the people by killing them then the people on their own have made up their minds that he himself will not rest all right and then as it is the ipop group and the esn they have vowed to revenge the death of econso the esn commander well and then these people are not joking onto this one well as it is these people have been called a terrorist group of which majority of people believe that they are not a terrorist group but their own objective their aim is to defend their people from the attack of the fulani not that these people are kidnapping yes if you take a look at the function of the ESN, their function is not to kidnap anybody. Their function has not been to, how will I put it, to maim, to destroy farmlands or to ask for ransom. But their own aim has been to protect their own people from the attack of these Fulani S men. Yet you are tagging them a terrorist group and then that's what they have said so far then why is it that this set of you no know, government the regime does not want good thing to happen in the land once why you don't want to give them a security network to protect them you didn't bother to give them a network to protect them now these people have made up their mind okay fine since the federal government is not ready let's take care of our people by herself by defending just like a kind of vigilante group but yet you tag them a terrorist group and on this one they have said that they are going to revenge the death of their commander all right my people what more can we say on to this one meanwhile let me have your take on this and remember to subscribe for more updates Thanks always.